and it became rocky because of uh, initially it was because of the usual things women accuse men of, which is of cheating and uh, having other relationships outside. And uh, just like many other women, she would sneak into your husband's phone to check uh, when you are suspicious. Um, and I became suspicious because my kindly tell us you are married. Leave mine alone. <laughs> Specifically, what happened between yes. you and me? Thank you. So I became suspicious of his moves and their movements um, because he would come on late and he doesn't want to give me my conjugal rights. <laughs> and uh, sometimes he would come quarreling. So I then started seeing a difference in the way he was behaving. And uh, therefore, that prompted me to start thinking that there was um, something in the air. There was, some, there, were, there was a third party in our relationship. So we talked about it, um, and he denied uh, having such affairs. And I sticked into his phone, found uh, information or documents or evidence to show that he was moving out. One of them was a woman who had sent him a pornographic video, images of women, and those kind of things, half naked. And we talked about them. He called up his friends. Um, first, initially, a friend called Kamui, and later, uh, Rufus meeting together with Kamui. We had our meetings. We discussed about the same, and he promised to change. Um, Soon after that, he left for a trip to uh, the U.S. I think it was the U.S. And while he was away on that trip, uh, that is when I made new other discoveries that the um, Pika Vituri had uh, taken titles that did not belong to him and went and charged them in his company to gain uh, monies. When he came back, we talked about it when he was away. When he came back, we had a discussion, and he did not want us to engage in this discussion. So what he did is he went, he ran away to me and went and lived with me. Can you repeat that? When he went to me, we discovered that? Um, discovered that he had taken properties or titles of properties that did not belong to him and charged them with the bank. To they pay. belonged to? They belonged to my relatives. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when we wanted to discuss this matter, when I brought up the matter for discussion, he ran away, went to stay in here, and he started operating from there. So I'm in Nairobi with his children, my children, and he now lives in Mary. He has parliament to attend, but he will attend that parliament from Mary. Um, he'll come and go back to Meru or sleep around town because there are times I know he has slept in town but not at home. Um, and this went on from around April to around July of 2018. And around July of 2018, I felt I should now involve our parents. So I called up my mother and my father-in-law and my mother-in-law come to Nairobi. So they came and we had a discussion about our relationship. I told them about the things um, Vika had been doing and that he had actually run away and stayed in Nairobi. And uh, after discussing with them, they felt that I should not, uh, we cannot have this discussion just by ourselves, them and, and myself. They need him to be involved in these discussions. So he was contacted, and uh, when he was contacted, he had actually, he was not in Mary, he had gone to Rwanda, uh, because there was elections in Rwanda then, so he was an observer, so he said. Um, so he, he, called, he was called by uh, my father-in-law, and he gave a date to a Sunday, I can't remember the date, but I remember the date, it was a Sunday, that he would come and we try and resolve these issues. So my mother 
also felt she can't do this alone. She needed my uncles, who are my parents, basically, because, as I mentioned earlier, my one of my uncles is a father figure, so she needed uh, my uncles to come through for that meeting. So we all agreed to be on a Sunday, and on that Sunday, um, because most of these people are traveling from outside Nairobi. My parents and my uncles were traveling from Kericho and Nandi, and his parents had gone back home, so they were coming back from Kiribu. So they came the Saturday before the Sunday. Uh, my brother-in-law was getting married in Kitui, in Kitui. So they had come a day earlier, went for the wedding, and after the wedding, they came home. Um, my other relatives arrived home then Saturday, and on Sunday morning, we had our meeting. So the one thing before the meeting started is we took an to the crowd that we only had three hours to sit and discuss anything that we had to table against it. Because after that, he was going to uh, to do his senatorial duties in Meru. So um, remember, he's the one who had suggested the Sunday, but now he's giving a condition of three hours. For me, I wondered whether three hours would really be enough, considering that he had not been home since April. This is end of July, August, and um, he's only given us three hours. However, we complied and uh, our meeting started. And the meeting mainly focused on those particular properties that had been charged to the bank. Um, the properties were purportedly signed by now the owners who are my brother, my, um, my mother, my son. And this, those particular people had never signed those particular documents. So when the discussion came up, Ifika literally told my mother that he would get his title, she would get her titles out by the Tuesday, the following week. So, um, of course, the Tuesday reached and to get those titles have still not been written, still have been charged in the bank. But, however, uh, the discussion did not yield much, and it was agreed that um, we have a further meeting between myself and we began to do together with um, a few of our friends who were then directors of the, of the company that we're talking about, uh, which charge the properties with a view to resolving this matter. So the meeting was then to happen uh, the following week on, he was coming back to Nairobi on uh, Monday, so we were to still have the same meeting on Tuesday and uh, on the town.